Catch some deer. Catch some deer. It's gonna be great. Uh, best part, we're not gonna hear anything about the election for 2020, no. and we will be back uh, about four days after. So That's it. Four days after. Find hopefully, out, find out who the country. old prez is. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the country's intact, and hopefully we got uh, six bucks down with some ducks and deer, but we'll see. I'm gonna refer to you as Buck Commander One. Redneck reverse, as Derek calls it, right there. Letting the wind take you out to the deeps. Boom. Lightweight, baby. Boom! Yeah, we basically got, got all the, the crap uh, in totes here. We're gonna set up a bear fence, leave some gear, and then we're hiking. Oh, baby. Nothing a little 20 mile an hour wind and snow can't fix. I certainly think we have the chance to see some nice ones, so we're both optimistic about that. It's just a matter of saddling up for the hike out. Yeah, the wind is crazy. It's actually it's not too bad right here, but it's snowing. It's definitely below freezing, and uh, we got about a little a little over two miles in, and uh, we're literally camped right on the stinking middle of a bear right trail. Right on the bear trail, but it was the only the only flat spot. Literally, otherwise it's tussocks, and you know you're gonna be sleeping with a big old round thing in your back all night. Ah, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. First morning out, got the valley. Derek's over there trying to thaw his boots out in a little creek since our stuff's frozen solid. It, it didn't snow too much after we went to sleep last night, but there's still definitely a good dusting on the ground here. So our plan is basically to hike up this valley a couple more miles and then set up our final camp. But we're just gonna, as we go, we'll just be hunting the whole way we go and looking for the big old swamp donkeys. Nice. Going the opposite direction, thankfully, but not a bad one. Three-pointer. Where's this range right You just click it on the left button. All right, uh, we made it to uh, Deer Camp 2020. Derek and I are set up on a creek and uh, we just got like a huge, uh, like kind of four main valleys that kind of shoot off of it. So it's a pretty, pretty dynamite spot, I think. Uh, we've seen a handful of deer, but all does, so no bucks yet. Um, but 
they'll, they'll, uh, they'll show themselves soon enough. A lot of bald eagles, so we're kind of wondering why that is. Maybe there's some salmon on this creek and we're in for a little uh, show from some bears. We'll find out, but yeah, it's about one o'clock, so we're just gonna go work our way down this valley. This is actually kind of the valley we're the least interested in, and since we only have half a day, we're just gonna kind of go down there, um, see what we see, and then come back. We've spotted, there's a couple does kind of up on this hillside, and then we've seen them sort of scattered all throughout the valley. Chilling way down in the bottom. Barely make it out. Derek and I are debating becoming vegan so we don't have to hike that hike it as far. Our plan is to just sit up here tonight. Just kind of glass this whole bottom. It's a lot of bottom to glass. And then the ridge sides obviously. Second one's not very big. Huh? Yeah, you definitely got him. He's going down. Or he is down. That's my competition. Here goes Bob. Bob's down. Bob's down. Nice shot. Dude, look at that V nice. That's crazy. The Bosch. First one. <laughs> Dude, look at old Buckaroo over there. He's still looking at. That's what he was looking at. Was those two bucks? I bet you, yeah. What do you think? Reminds you of little Dude, Columbia, huh? It is awesome. Yeah, it is exactly like my first Columbia blacktail. Hey, right here, it looks like one in. Okay. Right. Little textbook. Yep. Crushed him. 3,000 feet per second, you know, that gets right through them. Textbook, textbook liver shot. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, I don't eat liver anyways, but tend to, like to tenderize it first, right? No, this is sweet, man. This is awesome. Derek and I have basically covered these hills all the way back from camp. We've kind of just been walking along and kicking deer up. Uh, or not necessarily kicking them all up, but we'll see them and then stop and see if there are any bucks. Most of the time there's been, we'll find a doe on their feet and then a bucket that's not too far away. Which is cool. So we had one that was pretty nice that I, I was debating pulling the trigger, but I passed. But... Uh, hoping to find one more nice one here. It's our mor morning ritual. The, our boots and waders have basically been frozen solid. Oh man, frozen waders, frozen feet already. Just have to start moving, get them warmed up. Um, I never really saw what I would consider a trophy buck. There's probably three or four that were mature in age, like three and a half, four and a half year old bucks. Um, but I didn't really want to hike them out, you know, eight miles, depending on where we shot them. So decided to pass, and then we're going to kind of transition to a little bit of a float trip uh, for the remainder of, of our time out here, which might be another four days or so. So we're probably at about the midpoint of the trip. Um, Again, we've been seeing deer, so it's not an issue of seeing deer, it's just seeing big enough ones. Right? I can't hear you, what? I said they don't call him Derek the Beast for nothing. Woo! Oh. Uh, actually, we probably hiked at least eight miles from our drop point at our furthest point. And here's a buck, you know, no more than a mile from where we got dropped off, just at about 15 feet. And he does not care. I'm guessing he's never encountered a human before because he's downwind of us. He can smell us. 
he just doesn't know what we are. Every night our tent's been frosting over. It's probably about 15 degrees out right now. Derek just wanted to bring the one season tent, which is for warm weather. No, it's, it's cold weather one season. <laughs> <laughs> We've got about two hours to sun, sunrise. We're gonna try to go get set up for some ducks. Boots are frozen. Frozen solid here. There's the whole buck. Everything's just frosted. Pretty nippy. All right, Derek and I got the float going. The old raft is, uh, Holding up pretty well. It's pretty shallow, so we're not really, we're probably about one fifth float, four fifths walking it down. Blacktail number two down. Uh, Derek and I actually have totally shifted plans. We're floating down a river now. And uh, we spot, spotted this one probably within about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes of being in kind of the area once we got here to glass. So it's about a mile hike from our camp. And then uh, we spotted him. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely a mature blacktail. He's got some cool, cool character here on this side. Uh, it's almost like his main beam just ends, so we're stoked. It's probably mine. I think it is. Use the frozen block. <laughs> well, there goes some of our meat. All right, a couple inches of snow, or an inch or two anyways. Where'd you shoot that fox at? Right Let's see if we can't go find him. Solid. Bunch of fox tracks, dead fox. Fox down, fox down. Yeah. Fox down. He was getting into our meat last night. Old dead eye Derek in there. That's right. Baby. All right, it's our last day. We've got th four tags to fill. Three, really, because Derek just wants to fill one more, and I want to fill two more. But we woke up uh, about two hours before sunrise. Had some quick oatmeal. Found out there was two to three inches of fresh snow on the ground. And uh, now we're hiking about three miles to get to this little draw that we think is going to have a lot of uh, a lot of deer in it so all right we got a big buck in sight just kidding we have a deer in sight up on this hill right up in that opening and I've got gotta love walking on these bear trails freaking just beat down sidewalks everything's frozen since it hasn't got above freezing the past like three days so these trails are just awesome for walking if it was above freezing and these tra these trails will just be straight up mush which would be terrible
you gonna shoot? Yep. I think you hit him. He's like, I don't feel so good right now. Okay, there he goes. Did he go down? Nope, he's broadside. Yeah, he's jumping like you hit him. Okay, now he's wondering. This little death circle thing. There he goes. Yep. Boom. Down. Be down. Right. You gonna hit him? He, yeah, he's still he's still alive. Oh. There he goes. He's going downhill. You gonna hit him? I know. He's he's moving. Right behind him. Which way? Looked like you were just off to the left. Okay. Now you see where that hit. Weird, it's holding right on him. That was just to the right of him. That was to the right of him? Yeah. Shooting. Okay, I see him. Oh! You pull the camera! Dude, he's running! Get him, get him, get him, get him! shot a little, or not a little, I shot an eight pointer, um, kind of over here, and then as we were Make making our, footage. we got great footage by the cameraman, D. Bosch. No, that's what I do best, man. Well, we were making our way around, I took uh, three shots at around 412 yards at him and missed him on all three, so that was, we got that on footage. We got that on camera. It's pretty excited, he looks like a, at least a mature buck, so um, pretty cool. We've got two, two down in this area, and then we're going to go go uh, finish Derek's tags off too. Whack them and stack them. Whack them and stack them. Kodiak 2020 yeah. motto. Yeah, we're not but 150 yards, 200 yards apart from both of Isaac's deer. All right, this nice is buck, buck number four. Yeah? Number four. Number total? four. Yeah. So we got one or two more to go for Derek, depending on how many he wants. Just one. But this one, one we were scramble and trying to actually get a shot at uh, but it worked out and Here, filming. filmage okay look at that two deer down right next to each other Woo! uh yeah so bbd times two these are my second and third buck tags so i'm officially tagged out uh, but it was pretty awesome we hiked we got up about an hour and a half to two hours before sunrise and hiked Got to this hill, we just started seeing bucks popping out everywhere. So, pretty awesome. It's uh, it's about two hours after sunrise right now, and uh, we're gonna get these cleaned up and hike them back to camp. And get and get my second team. and get Derek's. I'm gonna do number two. Number two. I might shoot his number four. Who knows? Just kidding. I don't know. Just kidding, troopers. Just, just kidding. Yep. Redneck, man, man. Flash waders. Woo! Can you 
been there hiking on through the old alder jungle here. Kind of found this cool trail. Packing out two bucks. Derek's double slinging. Ready to fill that last tag of his. You can wait. Right as he takes a step, I think his body's going to be exposed a little. Let me get your range. There, I see him. He's, he's about 10 yards left of the, of the red. See him, he's wide open. Oh yeah. All right. Should I face plant? I hit him in the face or what? Okay, ready? Yep. You got a video camera? Huh? Yeah, just all here is looking right at me. Should be patient. Yeah, camera's on him. I think. Just before you shoot. So I'm on him. him. Yep. Reload. He's going left. He's wide open again, left, standing. He went about 10 yards. See him? He's, he's walking left. Oh, wait, wait, way left, way left. Yep, way left, way left edge of the brush. Like like a hundred yards left. Like over here? Yep. Is that him? Oh yeah, he has hot one. Yep, that's him, I think. Ready? You on the range? Two seventy six at him. I think you're missing him. Dropped him. Dropped him. Magnum. Oh, crush. You either got two bucks or three bucks, I'm not sure. Boom. This thing has its on it, so I have to aim up. Nice. Boshmo. No, oh, man. Oh, maybe I find the guy that jump shot on him. Ripping wind wasn't the best shot in the world, but dropped knock him, him down. Dropped, dropped him. Tracks. That's it. So. Anyway, it's pretty soaked. Yeah, this is like a monster. It is. It's a nice true. Tr this is our. It's what, what I would say is our best buck of the trip right here. So he's got some cool character. He's got on his left side. Here, just turn his head a little. There you go. On his left side, he's got that extra little point that sticks up, and then he's got really good width. Eye guards, not and he's typical. got a couple little not typical black tail. little kicker right there. You can barely see that. Yeah, just uh, just amazing, amazing yeah. deer. Sweet deer. Derek's sort of been walking as I'm guiding the raft, and he'll kind of try to sneak ahead a little bit. Um, he just. We're just trying to jump ducks. I think he got one. What did you get? Is it Drake or Hen? Nice. Oh, a teal. That's cool. Oh, shoot. I can fix it. You can fix it? Yeah. It's kind of cool if you deer, huh? Let's see, uh, let's see your little duck you got. Nice. It's actually a hen. Boom.
I'm guessing he's gonna go over there maybe. 